Hey guys, welcome back to day two. We're just uh, headed out to the bombers. They're gonna take us out on the lake. If you guys didn't catch yesterday's video or the first episode, the day one, you have to go right now and go check that out. Go on to my channel. Go check out day one. Buddy Andrew here did an awesome job. He caught a very nice fish. You guys have to go check that out. If you haven't already, go hit the day one. But this is day two. We're at a sportsman's lodge in, uh, on Lake of the Woods. We're in a villa right now. We just got dressed. The sun's coming up right now. We're going to be down in about 15 minutes. They're going to take us out. And we're going to, again, go catch some walleyes and hopefully a few more saugers. And maybe a big fish here and there. But I'm glad you guys are tuned in. I hope you guys liked the video so far. But the other one was really good, really fun making the video. We caught a bunch of fish. And hopefully today is a good repeat of that day, I hope. So we'll grab our stuff right now, headed down to the dock to get on the bombers and head out. And let's go catch some fish. You guys ready? All right, let's go do this. Okay, here we are again. We're all set up. The one bobber in, jiggle with the other one with the locator. All ready to rock. Great way to start the day. Sauger. Another little walleye. Measure it. Yeah. Measure it. Lower 
face. There's a baseball right. Almost 15 and a half. On the board. Not on the board. Better one there? Mm, yeah, I guess no? Yeah, pretty tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Oh, it's a white fish. That's why I'm like, oh, it feels different. Wrapped in my locator. That's why. It's a nice one, huh? Probably 15. Yeah. Fish off. Oh. That one smoked it. Nice one. Oh. That's a bigger walleye. Was it? About 15, 16. Ooh. Nice one. Yeah, that one feels nice. Yeah, that feels nice. on that one. 14 and a half. Oh, get a little smaller. Is it? Same one as the first video. If you guys didn't see that one, go check that one out. There you got a little pink, a little white, a little gold, middle head, red hook. You can see the, uh, it was red, but a lot of it's white from the walleyes scratching it up with their teeth. Might have to replace it yet, but that's a hot ticket eight pound test. Another one. Felt bigger. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, it came out again. Literally just threw that last one back. Oh, a little, a little bit of growth on that one. That's a bigger one. That one's about 14 and a half. 16. Nice. That's a nice fish. Swim another day. You guys can come up here and catch him. Come on. There she go. 
goes. All right, we just got our lunch delivered. Let's see what we got today. Ooh, we got cheeseburgers, chips, and a cookie. And some condiments. And ketchup mustard. Nice. Nice, not bad. So remember, just like the other video, if you guys get the meal plan, they bring the meal out to you. And it's nice and warm. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna head off, eat some, eat some good food, and get back to fishing. All right, I'm gonna take you outside. Just kind of show you everything out there. This is kind of the shack that you have been seeing for the last how many minutes? I'm gonna warn you, it's very windy out here, so be prepared and very bright. That right there is Canada, right there. Other shacks out here. It's very windy, so it drifted a lot. <clears throat> All the Sportsman's Lodge uh, houses have it on there, and then it's numbered right there. Yeah, it's going to be windy now. Hang on. Yeah. Very, very windy. And this is why we sit in that nice, warm shack. On this side, not as bad, but it actually has a um, bathroom on it. Also, you can uh, open it up, kind of do your duty in there. Get a little bucket in there, and they have a LP tank right there for the uh, heat. Yeah, that is what we got to work with. Really nice shacks, real warm. It's nice to come out and cool off once in a while. All right, let's get back inside. Oh. Hey, it's cold out there. Cold out? Yep. Andrew's hooked up. There's a sauger there. to be released so one of you guys can come up here and catch him. Trying to take it, take it, buddy. Take it, take it. There you go, take it. There you go, there you go. Take it, go. Eat it. Missed.
Ooh. You got it? Oh, <laughs> that's a big one. Oh, wow, that might be a slap fish. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. We're now, we're good. 19. 19. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, perfect. Let us size that one. Nice. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. I'll take a couple pictures with it. Oh. do it for day two it wasn't as productive as yesterday but we still ended up getting 33 fish total but it was still a good time you can't predict um how it's going to be yesterday well it was really super cloudy and it was snowing on and off and it was very very windy today it was bright and sunny but still windy the guide said yeah they just kind of turned off a little bit more than yesterday but it was still a good time we caught 33 fish we cannot complain about that where we come from, we cannot catch 33 walleyes in one day jigging. It's just phenomenal. So we were still very, very happy with the results. But to uh, do exactly what we did, catch as many fish as us, you have to check them out in the description. Sportsman's Lodge, everything is down there. Give them a call. Tell me you want to book with them. You can do one day, two day, three day fishing. They can take you out there. You can go on your own. Everything is, is there's so many options of what you can do. It's just crazy what you can do with this place. And they're so helpful and they're so nice. Like I said, we haven't had a problem with anybody, but if you haven't seen our last video, you have to check that out because Andrew did very, very good on uh, one species of fish yesterday. Oh, it was a nice one. I actually got the biggest one today, which was that last uh, walleye was 19 inches. Oh, that was a really nice one. That's gonna be a really good fillet. But like I said, guys, check them out. Um, give them a call, book a trip. I mean, it's just it's a trip of a lifetime. But we have one more day of fishing. Tomorrow's our last day. And the next day we go home. So that's all I can say, guys. Uh, until tomorrow, we'll see ya.